in an impoverished region of western Alabama, Samuel Mockby is challenging the conventional notions of architecture today. In 1993, he co-founded Auburn University's Rural Studio, a program that combines the teaching of architecture with a commitment to public service. Each year, his students work with the residents of Hale County, Alabama, building structures that are both functional and beautiful. His work fuses innovative design with a strong social consciousness and confounds the idea that architecture must be grand to be good. I'm pleased to have him on this program. Welcome. Thank you. You tell me, in your own word, what it is that, that you think you're doing uh, <laughs> that's before we see it. Well, the Auburn Rural Studio is, it, it is an educational experience that takes our students, architecture students, out of the classroom of the university and puts them in uh, the classroom of a community. And in this case, uh, a rural community, uh, economically uh, distressed community. The, uh, and it's a, um, it, it puts them into uh, an architecture that is real, and it's not theoretical. It's real in itself. So I guess I would say that the mission is that of the, uh, is not only is it educational, but it's, it's giving the students an opportunity to, uh, to be heroic, uh, to live the myth that they can make a difference. The myth that they can make a difference? The myth that they can make a difference. They're uh, living the myth that they can make a difference. So they're living the reality that they can make a difference. That's right. They're having a, a small epic in their life that uh, mm -hmm. hopefully will uh, stay with them and uh, emerge later in their careers as citizen architects. What's your philosophy? Um. <laughs> on doing this. No, uh, let, me, let me tell you what I think it is, uh -huh. look okay. what I'm searching for, and I'd yeah. rather you do it than me. Mm -hmm. It is this notion that you believe that buildings should have spirit, mm -hmm. and that spirit can influence inhabitants. Mm -hmm. They can feel a sense of, no matter how poor, That's right. everything doesn't have to be um, as beauty has a role. Mm -hmm in addition to functionality. That's right. And spirit is key. It's, it's part of being an architect, a part of, of, of reaching that high plane that deserves the title of architecture. Yeah. All great art is going to have it, whether it's architecture, literature, music, uh, it, it makes no difference. You have to reach that plane that, that one is inspired by, that has a, a certain spirit to it. And if you, and you can, uh, uh, our students are doing it at, at a very uh, basic level, but still are accomplishing the, or uh, uh, reaching that, the achievements of, well, what I call, uh, or at least they aspire to reach the achievements of the great, what's great in American art and architecture. Right, let's look at some stuff here. First, the Rural Studio Projects. Number one, downtown Greensboro, Alabama. Photographed by Walker Evans, 1936, by the way. 1936. Yeah. And uh, the only thing that's changed about that is that uh, the one building has burned down to the left, and then further down, a post office was built in 1938. Other than that, the little, that, that photograph has not changed. All right, uh, let's see the next d downtown Greensboro photographed in 1996. In 1996. There it is. Right. Right. Actually, I think Walker Evans took it from the balcony of the hotel to the right up there, that three-story building to the right is where he yeah. took his, his right. uh, Next slide, Bryant Haybell House. Uh, this is, well, this is the existing, this, this was the existing structure that the Bryants, Alberta and Shepherd Bryant, uh, an elderly couple and three grandchildren were living in this shack for 40 years. Well, they had lived in it for 40 years, and they had three, three uh, grandchildren living in that with no running water uh -huh. when we met them now eight years ago. Okay, next slide is, let's see what it looks like. I'm, and this this yeah. is what? And this is, the, this is the house. When we met uh, Albert and Shepard Bryant, he was actually trying to build another house yeah. because he was trying to get out of the, it, it was about to fall down, rain's coming in, and we said, look, I went to the Department of Human Resources there in Hale County, Teresa Costanza, the lady who headed it up, and said, we need to help the most destitute of your, your clients. Right. And she introduced us to Shepard and Alberta Bryant and, and their three grandchildren. And so 
we asked them if we couldn't help them build a house, and that is the, the house out of Haybells. Uh, out of Haybells. Out of Haybells. All right, next slide. There you go. This is the front porch. This is the front porch, which was the only thing really that Shepherd Brian asked for, was a, a good porch that he could, his friends and neighbors and family could come. And There's a man I could know and like. That's right. And then she has, Alberta has turtles out there. She keeps his uh, little pets. And, yeah. But everything you see there is built by undergraduate architecture students. When I say everything, I'm talking the mechanical, well, there's really no mechanical system. It's a wood-burning stove, yeah. and, and we're taking you know, advantage of the natural breezes. But the, the slab, the septic system, yeah. the, the electrical, everything is done by undergraduate students. The next slide shows you the Harris residence. Right. Which is, again is an elderly couple. She's, she's uh, not well and is in a wheelchair. The uh, Department of Human, Hale County Department of Human Resources was concerned about yeah. their, where they were living. And so we went to uh, them and said we could help them uh, with this house. So it's a little bitty cottage is what it is. I and, like it. And it's, uh, half of it is really a screen porch and the other half is an interior yeah. space. Um, and who funded this? Well, we're funded by different yeah. uh, philanthropic groups, but primarily We've had uh, Kellogg Foundation, uh, Auburn Outreach from uh, Vice President Wilson from Auburn University is funded. But we also have, uh, there's a couple in uh, California, the Portrayo Narevo, who helped fund this, and uh, the Rollison Fund, again, another right. couple. And aren't you a McCarthy Genius Award recipient? I'm a MacArthur Fellow. fellow. Not, a, not a genius. All right, so, but that's a. But, that's uh, but I, yeah, I was awarded one this, this June. That's what I thought. Okay, next, next slide. Right. Interior of what? Of, of the uh, butterfly uh, house? The butterfly house, the Harris house. Is that Mr. Harris there? That's Mr. Harris reading his Bible. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Before he goes to watch football. That's uh, right. He goes to watch all of them. <laughs> yeah, next mm -hmm. slide. All right, uh -huh. this is the Akron Community Pavilion. That's right. That's, this is built by three, um, fifth-year architecture students, and uh, the client uh, was a man who had grown up in this little community of Akron, went away when he, for about 30 years and come back and, and was uh, really disappointed at how everything had deteriorated there in, in his little community. And he wanted to do something, so he came to us and the students suggested that they build uh, some sort of community building and they built this pavilion that, uh, that family picnics, family reunions, uh, you know, gatherings, and it's used every weekend. And but this was built for under ten thousand dollars using recyclable materials. And in, in, in you use a lot of natural and recyclable we, materials. We, we try to use as many recyclable materials and uh, environmentally appropriate materials as possible. Next slide. This is again three uh, fifth-year thesis students uh, designed and built this chapel on uh, Yancey. Uh, from Mrs. Morrison, and um, they built this again for under eight thousand right. dollars. A little over one thousand tires are used in building that. This is great stuff. Let me. See, I want to see as much as I can. Let me see the in interior of this chapel. Yeah, this is, there you go. That's a that's a good great. Right, that's good a shot. Nice, that's nice. looking out over the Alabama landscape, which is absolutely. This is in the Alabama Black Belt. Uh, uh, a beautiful landscape. Next slide. This is the Cook, the Cook residence in Oxford, outside Oxford. It's, it's, sits on 600 acres. This is a, uh, uh, well, the, the couple is a, was a young couple, or, and she has exotic animals that she rescues yeah. and, and then uh, rehabilitates and keeps, either tries to find a home for them or, or uh, they stay with her. She has like 18 lions, tigers, oh, bears. Where does she find them? Well, again, these are abused uh, oh, I see. By, lions by and zoos tigers. and, yeah, and exactly, whatever. Right. And then she circuses she, and whatever. And, right. And she. Uh, Next slide. Barton, the Barton residence. Yeah. Uh, Ken, Madison Ken, County, Mississippi. Right. Uh -huh. Outs right. Outside of Jackson, in between Jackson and Canton. Right. Um, painting, for you. Mm -hmm. How influential in your architecture? Well, it's the initial inspiration, uh, drawing and uh, painting is, is, it helps me get my, free my imagination. Yeah. It's the initial sketch that, uh, that leads me into whatever it is I'm doing, uh, whichever project I'm working on. And, uh, and that's always uh, an emotion. 
and uh, I try not to be not to do my best not to preconceive anything. So it's uh, a way to enter into a project. And uh, once I understand the program, uh, and, uh, what are your dreams? What is it you want to? What what body of work are you hoping to accomplish here? Well, I have a. Um, it's. I'm somewhat pigeonholed at times into one or another uh, aspect of my <laughs> pursuits, uh, whether I'm an educator, whether I'm an architect, whether I'm a, a painter. Uh, actually, I feel I'm all three, and all three are all interwoven together. Um, so it's just how I continue, you know, and this MacArthur is going to uh, give, ha offer, I'll have the opportunity to, to pursue this, but in, in a quieter way, you know. Uh, Give you some freedom too. Gives you opportunity. It does. There's and a stipend with it. It is. It's a nice stipend. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Those folks are good folks, aren't they? They're smart about it too. They don't give it to you right off. They make you wait about six months before they give it to you. I, you know, so I'm not down at Biloxi, you know, the, the, the casinos. You know. <laughs> Samuel Mockby, I'm uh, very pleased to have him here uh, in recognition. I think of. The fact that there are a lot of people doing a lot of interesting things in this country of ours uh, who deserve notice because they're creative and not only that, uh, they're doing well as they do good. And I'm pleased to have Samuel Mockby on this show. Thank you. Thank you. And I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.